Hello everybody, I am just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for another video. Um, if you hear a hum in the background, my girlfriend, she's vacuuming right now. Um, I have a Labrador Retriever, he sheds a lot. <laughs> but anyways, um, this shave I actually originally filmed back on the 17th of this month because... The 18th was my three-year anniversary as a wet shaver. Um, had some issues with the uh, with uh, with the video when I transferred it over from my iPhone to my laptop. Uh, there was a glitch or something, and the first portion of the video would not open. So I figured, what the heck? I'll just go ahead. I'll just redo it. Anyhow, my very first wet shave was on December 18th, 2014. And real quick, the gear that I used was, this was the razor. It looks like a flare tip, but trust me, it, or it looks similar to a Gillette flare tip, but trust me, it is not a flare tip. Um, this is the MicroTouch 1. It was being plugged by... Rick from Pond Stars, um, similar to a flare tip in appearance, but flare tip's a bit better, is quite a bit better shaver. Um, it's got this little cap down here, vintage Gillette Stone. Um, it's not a bad razor, it's really not. The brush I used was not this exact one, but one similar. This is the Vanderhagen Boar Hairbrush. My first brush was the Vanderhagen Pure Badger, which I thought was a um, great brush because it was Badger until I used it. Once that knot got wet, uh, I don't even think a, a full bottle of Viagra would have got that knot to stand back up. Um, and the soap I used was actually. Not this same puck, but one like it. This is the Vanderhagen, I believe, Deluxe. This is just a replacement puck. It's nothing fancy. It's not got a great scent. It's not got much of a scent, actually. Uh, but it's a decent soap. Uh, right now I'm working on the luxury one with the Shea Butter and um, Aloe Vera. That one's pretty decent. I love the scent of that one and it gives a really nice shave. Anyways, that was then. This is now. Um, the gear I'm going to be using tonight is, I figured, what the heck, three year anniversary, let's do this right. The first razor I'm going to be using is this one right here. It looks like a straight, but it ain't no straight. It's a Chevette. Um, got it at Sally's Beauty Supplies for like 13 bucks. Right now I got our um, Carl Kiefer is going to be sending me a, another Chevette in white because um, this is the only Chevette I got right now. So Carl's going to hook me up with one. The soap, I can't remember the artisan's name, but this is the BFF formula that's uh, sold over on Razor Rock. Mm, it's got a really good scent. A little earthy, but kind of like cologne. It's a really good soap. I paid four bucks for that soap, and it definitely performs much better than, than four bucks. The brush is going to be the Maggard Synthetic in the marble handle with the maple leaf. That's a really decent synthetic brush. I really like it. And the razor I'm going to use for the finish off the first pass if I have to, um, you know, if I'm unable to complete the first pass with that Chevette. Um, the razor I'll be using to step in is going to be this one right here. The J4 Gillette Slim, no it's a J2 Gillette Slim Adjustable. 
Makes it 1964. Hang on, guys. I've got idiot neighbors yelling outside. Yeah, we had some young kid. He sounded like maybe 1920 yelling at somebody that was probably, oh, I don't know, five, six, seven houses away. Yelling back at them. They were just cursing back and forth. Um, I don't live in, we don't live in the greatest of neighborhoods around here. We got some kind of undesirable folk. But anyways, so, anyways, that's what I'm going to be using for the shave. So, let's go ahead and let's get going. Oh, one second, I gotta grab my sh shave towel and washcloth. Oh, by the way, the blade that I'm running in that slim is a Persona Platinum on its second shave. Um, I will be running the razor at 987. Um, others call those Persona Platinums, Persona Reds. Some call them Israeli Personas. I normally just call them reds, and they're just such a great, great, great um, blade. Yeah, this BFF formula, it's, I mean, it's not, it's relatively pretty firm soap. I mean, it's not like, oh, I don't know, fine hard, fine soap hard, um, but it's pretty firm. It's firmer than, say, a Razor Rock soap, but I really like it. I got it last year for Christmas, so I've had the tub nearly a full year, but the scent's just, I don't know. It's not the strongest. It's a, oh, I don't know, a um, little bit below medium, probably, a bit below medium. About the same strength level that all Razor Rock soaps are. But um, the performance is just absolutely wonderful on this soap. I highly, 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 highly recommend. If you can find out the Geosfung, something like that, I can't remember. If you can find out the guy that makes this soap um, and get his soap. It's a really, really good soap. So anyways, oh, I had lathers blow out the tub. Anyways, gonna wet my face real quick. And wipe it off the brush. That's off the puck. Anyways, I hope everybody is having a good holiday. Um, I hope if you travel for Christmas, or if you're traveling for Christmas, I hope that you have safe travel. Um, We lucked out, or you know, well actually, we're not going to be traveling for Christmas. Um, it's going to be here. We travel for Thanksgiving, so. Um, and my niece and her daughter, my great niece, they were living out in Arizona. Um, and they live here where I live. Not in the same place, but in the same town. They, uh, the mom, she, uh, single mother, and, uh, she, uh, trying to do all she could for her daughter. Who's unfortunately got a, a dad that. I don't believe in running down parents. Um, but what I will say about this fella is 
he just unfortunately he's young he's a young guy um, he just he don't get it he just don't get it yet um, he's got a beautiful little girl and he just just don't get it um, but you know luckily the she's got lots of family around that loves her and is gonna make sure she has a good Christmas anyways so that's a nice lather right there a little more a little more let me get a little bit of water here gonna work this wire a little more I'm going to have a nice thick leather considering I'm using a Chevette. And Carl, if you haven't seen that Chevette yet, um, I promise you, or you know, if you haven't seen that Chevette yet, um, if you see any parts come flying off, you know, and that's going to be because I hiccup, not because I'm bad with it, with the Chevette, so. No. Actually, uh, God. I've only used that Chevette. This will be the fourth time on the blade, and that will be a half, a half um, Darby Extra. Anyways, I'm gonna load that Chevette up for right now. So I'm gonna cut away here for a second and get the get the blade and get the. Chevette ready and I'll come back to go ahead and load it up. Alright guys, real quick. This is a front loading Chevette, which means this piece here slides out the front. It's got these little nubs or like I like to call them little nipples on it. So Take my half DE blade. Set down and I will cut away again if it seems to take too long, which I don't think it will. Slide this back in. And one thing that I found, and you slide it right in the front like so. One thing I found is I've got this little wood shelf here next to my sink on the side and I just kind of set the edge of the blade because I got like a little cover on it um, and I just go ahead and I just put the edge of the blade and just gently push down on the spine of the Chevette back here. As you can see, cool thing about this Chevette, I don't know if they're all like this because this is my first one, that blade barely comes out, so there's not really any blade exposure. Anyhow, so let's go ahead and let's go. So we'll start out here on the left, rub my fingers with the album. Lift up, let's see, put the Chevette straight against the side of my head. I was watching a um, Sinatra Lemon. He's got less than 60 videos, but man, does he got a buttload of subscribers, and I don't know, he's really cool. And, uh, I don't like him, but... Okay. He, uh, did one called Chevette bloody Chevette or something like that and well let's just say the Chevette he used and he was using a half feather so you 
um, Black cream and whiskers. So, it feels good so far. So, right here. There. Alright, so that's my cheeks. Shall we go forward? Let's do it. Um, I hope none of you are out there in YouTube land going, no, don't do it that way. Because if you are, then sorry, but I gotta do it how it makes me feel comfy. There. Um, yeah, the second time I used this, I got a little cocky. And, uh, and, uh, kind of. I'll just call it a nick. However, with the nick, that did not feel good. Right here on my nick. I got myself on my chin too. Now, let's see. Okay. Now, I think I might just nick myself on the neck, but, you know, hey. If I did. One more, one more soap here on my. Lip and jaw. Um, I really, really do need to practice with this thing more. Because. Yeah. 
Okay, that's good for now. Oh, wait there. So, anyways. Um, still got both ears, my nose, both lips. So, anyways. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and throw some soap on here real fast and you know, bring out bring out the uh, slim. So, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions to maybe help me, you know, things you'd like to see with the channel as far as for me to make the video shorter, just say the word comment, you know. Because I know some of my videos are a little long, and I imagine some of you guys are probably like, oh my god, I'm so bored. So, if there's anything you want to see different, I don't know. Maybe not plug. I don't think I'm going to plug the, the, the gear I used at the end. Just make a couple of thoughts of the show. And this is this. This is because I mean, if you guys you watch the damn shit, you should know what I use. Um, if if you don't, then I'm sorry. Anyways, um, so yeah. What is that? That's him. There it is. Anyways, these slim adjustable, they're really, really nice, comfortable razors to use. Here we go. On setting nine. Anyways, um, hope everybody's looking forward to goodies. Um, hopefully y'all got your Christmas shopping done. Uh, I got mine done today. Uh, ended up. All I need to get was my girlfriend's gifts. So I can't say what they were because my girlfriend is a subscriber. So, but she'll like them. One of them I got for my son to be able to get better. So. Anyways, that was a good first pass. Well, second actually. Um, I got a zit, I don't know why it's a pimple or something on my lip. Right there. I think it is a pimple, it just hasn't broke the surface yet. I hate those. <laughs> so. the 
this to 8. If you were to ask me what I've learned in these three years as a light shaper, first thing I would say is buy what you can afford. If that means, what I mean by that is, it. You can't afford a one blade Genesis, but you really, really want one. It's a $400 razor. either no actually by what you can afford is the second bit of advice first bit of advice was unless you have huge, huge amounts of disposable income set up a budget the second one is buy what you can afford If you see something that you can't afford, save up for it. Don't go out and don't buy one blade Genesis if it's going to hurt you financially or if it's going to cause issues um, in your relationship. Next. Try new stuff. When I say try new stuff, if you have been wanting to try Chevettes, try Chevettes. I did. I wanted to. I did. I like them. Um, I'm getting to like it more and more each time I use it. Um, don't know if I'll ever go straight with, with straights. That sounds wrong. Don't know if I'll ever go straight, yeah. But, um, no. Um, no offense to anybody. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't know if I'll ever try straights. But, uh, but if you want to, do it. Freaking just do it. Um, budget gear, another thing I learned. Budget gear ain't that bad. Budget gear is really nice. Um, some piece of budget gear can be really, really nice. Um, You know, I got a lot of budget gear. I've got a whole buttload of budget gear. Um, anything I got that costs a bit more to purchase <clears throat> has been gifted to me, given to me by others. Um, one thing I forget, which would have to be at the top of the list, is there are people in this community, mean white shaving, that is incredibly generous. 
incredibly kind. Beautiful slim adjustable. I didn't pay a dime for it. It was given to me along with a bunch of other beautiful razors from a viewer. Um, the Maggers brush, a gift. Um, when I first got into this, number of guys. When I introduced myself on Shave the Man, ended up sending me um, three guys send it me sent me stuff. Uh, tub of Katie's bubbles, uh, about a fifty percent full thing of Lava Original by Barrister Man. Um, against the grain, by the way. Um, mostly full tub of Castleford's lavender, which is not a cheap cream. So, which I absolutely love that cream, but it's definitely more. I don't know. More of a luxury cream, I guess. Because, well, it's almost 40 bucks a tub, so. Anyways, that's shit. Um, I'll be back in a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off here. Oh, got a little bit of buffing to do there. Um, you know, another thing I want. <laughs> Don't be too proud to take advice from others like when it comes to technique. Um, Cause if you're new and you're just starting this, well, there might be some stuff when it comes to technique that, well, that you just don't know. <laughs> so, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and rinse off. I'll be back in a minute for the album. See you in a minute. Let's see it here. Um, you know, can't complain. Not bad shave. So, let me reach over here. Grab my alum, make a lump, a lump, alum stick. Alum, however you want to pronounce it. Do, 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 do. Oh, a little bit of bite, but you know, kind of fiddle farted around with a chevette there. Another thing to know about this hobby, if you got into this to save money and uh, <laughs> and you turn it into a hobby, you're not going to save money. You're really not. I mean, granted, I've had, I've won razors on giveaways. I've been given razors. Um, I've been given soaps. I mean, I've been given a lot of razors, a lot of soaps some brushes, um, creams, um, blades. So I didn't spend nearly as much as some that's in the exact same plate that's in, you know, pretty much the same place as far as the amount of gear goes, as far as money that I've spent out of pocket. Um, but, you know, this stuff, it all adds up relatively quickly and it can get expensive. I mean, I dropped 300 bucks. Um, plus, I paid taxes, delivery cost on a, um, uh, that china cabinet that I used for my shaved in. So, I mean, you know, that's 
almost 350, you know, 330, 40, something, somewhere around there. So, you know, I've spent a good chunk of money at times on this hobby. So, anyways, I'll be, I'm going to step, uh, cut away, rinse off, um, go ahead, and I'll be back for the post, and I'll finish up my thoughts. Folks, that was a beautiful, beautiful three-year anniversary shave. Wet shaving anniversary shave. Um, yeah, my face, my, nice, nice, um, pretty good, pretty good, no complaints, my head, pretty smooth, that slim, slim does a nice job on head, um, thoughts on the equipment, um, razor worked great, the soap, everything you want in the soap, um, the brush, performed excellent um, you know it's a nice brush to have in your rotation that's for sure um, uh, all the products are nice products to have in your rotation um, the blade um, cut great um, but you know it's to be expected it's a persona anyhow so that's my thoughts on the shave anyways let's go ahead and let's do the post shall we Cheap Dollar General Witch Hazel, which is almost gone. That means ooh, break out the dickens. Um, never used it. A little, little bit of a sting. wonder if this Witch Hazel has alcohol in it. It probably does. I don't know. Um, I went ahead and I mentioned in that last video a couple of things I want to do. It's coming here as far as, or in a previous video, I'm going to get drink water. I mentioned that I wanted to get a custom brush from, I want to get a custom brush. I can't remember if I mentioned who I want to do it. I want to, Aaron from Jared, in case you're unfamiliar with Frugal Shave, if you know who Aaron Free Jarrett is on the shave pages, he's Frugal Shaves. And um, his, uh, he makes stuff with a 3D printer, shave gear with a 3D printer. And he said a razor hand, a brush handle, one color is 30, two colors is 50. Um, Panad Clubman uh, for the aftershave. Um, which I'm going to need to get the two, two color and the knot I'm going to have put in is I'm not sure if I want to go with a 28 or a 30 millimeter blood knot I asked him if he could you know because he called it a hybrid knot once um so I asked him, get just a touch more of that. My girlfriend loves the smell of this Panade Clubman. Um, I asked him to kind of compare it. And he said, as far as softness goes, there's none, there's no, no knots that are softer as far as synthetics go. And um, he compared it to like a fan type knot. But he says, as far as backbone goes, it's the backbone is similar to a tuxedo knot, but it's the knot has thicker fibers, so it's the backbone is that uh, has more backbone than a um, tux knot. So, like I said, I'm not sure if I want to go with the the tuxedo. I mean, not the tuxedo, the. Um, 28 or 30 millimeter. I think I might go with a 30 because I got, you know, bald head. It'd be great head, head, head lather, you know, for head lather in my head too. Um, so yeah, but that's going to cost me about 70 bucks, 68, 70 bucks, somewhere in there. Um, I mentioned I want to get my 40s aristocrat replayed it. Um, 
that's going to be, Matt Pasarsic said, 119 to get it replayed at Rhodium. I don't know if I'll be able to get myself a Timeless next year or if I'm going to be able to go ahead and get, you know, Saba Row. But I definitely want to go ahead and get that, that Aristocrat redone in Rhodium and get that on um, because it's such a great razor and get that custom brush done through Aaron. So, for wet shaving goes, that's going to be my New Year's resolution. Maybe a for sensitive skin, cooling balm. Oops, need a little more. That's going to be my wet shaving, wet shaving New Year's resolution. To keep bringing you guys great videos and um, hopefully better. And uh, get at least those two items. The custom brush with the blood knot. And... Uh, get the aristocrat redone replayed it because i absolutely love that razor it's one of my favorites it's definitely in my top five if not my top uh, hell probably my top three anyways so that's a shave i hope all of you enjoyed it um i hope you all have some great shaves i hope you all get some wonderful awesome shape wet shaving goodness in your in your stuffed in your stockings or stuck under your trees and um have a happy and safe christmas and if i don't see you before new year's have a happy new year's anyways i'll see all of you on the flip side of the blade bye bye now